is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning and a happy Sunday to you. I'm Minister Nicolin Stevenson. On behalf of our founder, our international presiding bishop and general overseer, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, and his wife, our international first lady, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, our senior assistant pastor, Reverend Isil Denotman, the International Executive Management Council, ministers, and the entire Power of Faith family, welcome to Sunday Morning Live. We're beaming to you from the Power of Faith Ministry headquarters right here in the Sunshine City of Portmore, St. Catherine, Jamaica, West Indies. And whether you're watching on PFM Family TV, Facebook PFM Live, or our YouTube handle, Apostle Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, we are so excited that you have chosen to worship with us this morning in our minister's Sunday service. Yes, the ministers are in charge of this service today. Be reminded that we have only one morning service on Sundays. It commences at 7 a.m. We usually have our night services at 6.30 in the nights, but for today, we will not have a night service, so there'll be only one service for today. We ask you to enjoy your evening with your family. Stay tuned for further announcements and reminders. I'll be back with some more at the end, but for now, let us go to church and enjoy the great feast that has been prepared for us. Be blessed. Come on, keep those praises going. Keep those praises. Hallelujah. Thank you. I look down the road and I wonder.
Somebody worship him this morning. Somebody worship him this morning. Somebody lift to praise up. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, we invite his presence.
worship us. Oh, worship me. the presence of the Lord is in this place. Hallelujah. I can feel it. Praise God. Praise God. Our congregational hymn this morning, we'll sing redemption song number 592. Are you weary? Are you heavy hearted? Praise God.
the refrain we place oh, you in the God. highest place yes. as we enter the throne of God hallelujah for you are the great high priest you this morning, our sovereign king, our holy lord, wonderful savior. We worship you this morning. We worship you, God. We praise your name, Jesus. We glorify you, Lord. There's none like you, none to be compared. And so, God, we honor you this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. It's a privilege for us to be here. It's a blessing for us to be here. It's not because we deserve it. It's nothing good that we have done. Oh, no. Oh, no, God. But it's because of your love towards us, because of your mercies, because, oh, God in heaven, of the plans you have for us. God, you look beyond who we are. You look beyond what we are. And you see, God, what you want us to be. And so, Lord, you have preserved us this morning. You have taken us through so much, through many dangers, toils, and snares. Oh, God, you have taken us. Oh, God, and we have already come. You have taken your people, Lord, through sicknesses. Oh, God, through troubled times. Oh, God, through rough seas. And God, we are here this morning to give you praise and glory and honor. And as we come, Lord, without holding back, God, we offer you the sacrifices of praise. We offer unto you all that is due unto your holy name. Oh, God, we give it to you, Lord, the praises, so that, God, you can dwell in. Oh, God, and you will bless us. Father, we look to you this morning. 
We look to you for everything. Everything that shall be said and done in this service is in your hands. And even though, God, we have come with a program, Holy Spirit, I ask, God, that you'll direct and you'll take charge. We welcome your holy, awesome presence. We know you're here, Holy Spirit. And we welcome you and ask that you tabernacle with us and guide us through the proceedings of this service. God, every person whom you shall use, every aspect of this service is in your hands. I pray for your holy anointing upon every one of us this morning. Those who are in the space and those who are in their personal spaces. God, those who are watching, I ask, Lord, that you reach out and touch them just the same. I know, God, you are the same God here. You are the same God there. And God, what you do for us here, you'll do for them there. And so, God, I ask you, Lord, that you'll reach out and touch. Oh, God, and grant us all a very special blessing this morning. As we look to you, we commit ourselves into your hands. Oh, God in heaven, and we give you all that's due unto your holy name. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you for our leaders. We thank you for our Bishop and Minister Davis. God, we thank you for their families. Oh God, I ask that you continue to bless them. Keep a hedge around them, Lord. Continue to lead them. Oh God, keep them healthy, prosperous, wise, and strong. As you have placed them, God, oh God, to lead us. Father, and you have been carrying them these many years. I ask that you continue to bless them. Continue to strengthen them as they continue to lead. Oh, Father, I pray. Oh, God, for our family, Power Faith family, those who are watching, those who are here, I thank you, Lord Jesus, and ask God that you continue to bless and use us mightily in a very special way. The service, Lord, I commit into your hands. I commit this service into your hands, God in heaven, and for those, oh, God, who are not saved, let none leave as they have come. Every one of us, help us to leave, Lord, with a blessing. Help us, Lord, to be connected to the source, to you, Almighty God, as we give you our all, as we give you the praises, oh God, and we trust you to send down the blessings. We thank you this morning. Into your hands, we commit ourselves. Into your hands, we commit this service. Oh God in heaven, we thank you. We pray for Minister Noteman. We pray for everyone. We thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, God, for hearing us. And we thank you in advance for the answers you shall give to us. We praise your holy name. We glorify you. We honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Praise God. Now go back to your seats. Put your hands above your heads and just give God some praise. Not just a clap. Just, not just a clap. Just give God some praise. Open up your mouths and shout the highest praise. King of kings and the Lord of lords. Shout something to our Savior. Surely there must be something to give him thanks for. We praise you Lord. We thank you. We honor you God. We glorify your name. We thank you Jesus. Worthy you are. Worthy you are. He's worthy. He's awesome. And we praise him this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Please take your Bibles. Our scripture lesson this morning comes to us from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 13, and we'll read the first 17 verses, 1 to 17. While you find it, let me take this time to acknowledge our shepherds, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis and Minister Dr. Petrova Davis or International Presiding Bishop and or International First Lady. Let me also acknowledge Minister Isilda Noteman, our Senior Assistant Pastor, the International Executive Management Council, the ministers, elders, officers, VIPs, dedicated servant leaders, Power Faith family. I greet you well. Praise God. 
Luke 13, and I read. There were present at that season some that told him of the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Jesus answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, because they suffered such things? I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Or those eighteen upon whom the tower in Siloam fell and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. He spake also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of the vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down, why cumbereth it the ground? And he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it. And if it bear fruit, well. And if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed down and could in no wise lift herself up. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day, and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work. In them, therefore, come and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite, dost not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering? And ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath bound, lo, these eighteen years, be loosed from the bond on the Sabbath day? And when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed, and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord has spoken. The church says, Amen. 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 Put down those Bibles. Put your hands above your head and give God a clap offering. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You may have your seats. Praise God. At this time, we'll welcome the ministry of the Voices of Triumph Choir. Please be blessed as they minister to us. Shall we praise the Lord, church? Praise Shall we give the Lord a praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is indeed a good God. And he is worthy to be praised.
voices of triumph. Thank you. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Go ahead and give God the praise, man. Go ahead and give him the praise. Hallelujah. Don't you hold it back. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. will be done by missionary Tanika Edwards. Immediately following Tani missionary Edwards, I ask that we stand and make welcome our bishop as we observe the dedication of babies. God bless you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Smile a while. And give your face a rest. Raise your hands to the one you love the best. Elbow bounce to those nearby and greet them with a smile. Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Bless the name of Jesus. Welcome to another Sunday morning live first Sunday service at the Power of Faith Ministries International. This is also our baby's dedication service and we are delighted to share with you this morning. Do we have any visitors here this morning? Please wave your hand so we may acknowledge you. Bless the Lord. Praise God. And I'm also seeing some proud parents here this morning with their bundles of joy. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. A hearty and warm welcome to you. Welcome to our viewers as well on the various media platform, pfmfamily.org, Flow Cable Channels 672 and 602, Digiplay 20, Facebook and YouTube Live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. On behalf of our presiding bishop, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, our international first lady, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, our senior assistant pastor, Minister Isilda Noteman, officers and members here, may I encourage you this morning that when your storms come your way, remember you know the master of the wind. When sickness finds you, remember you know the great physician. When your heart is broken, just say, I know the potter. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Just trust him. Congregation, please put your hands together and help me make welcome our visitors, our viewers, and our browsers, God bless you and do enjoy the remainder of the service. Let's give the Lord praise in the house of God, everybody. Give him praise and glory in the house of the Lord. 
God is good. Amen. When he cometh, when he cometh to me. Precious jewels, his love and his soul, like the stars of the morning, his bright cloud of the morning, they shall shine. The Lord bless you, Bishop, Minister Davis, and members of the congregation. A pleasant morning to you. Child's name, Amaya Kira K. Jones. Parents, Lotanya Ramsey Jones, Anthony Jones. Kaylee Deidreanne Smith. Parents, Shamika Hannah Dwayne Smith. Isabella Aya Malenia Lothian. Parents, Shania Downey, Alex Lothian. Realia O'Shea Abel, mother, Tika Gray. Demoy Shane Smith, parents, Amaya Godfrey, Donovan Smith. Kevon Rowan, Rowan, Prince Hyatt, parents, Carlene Clark and Kevon Hyatt. Zaire Giovanni Jamoy Mattox, parents, Peter Gay Thompson and Errol Mattox. Chloe Tiana Apo, parents, Nidge Apo and Dwayne Apo. Michael McCaldo Campbell, parents, Caudion Robinson and Marcus Campbell. Aria Haley Jai Smith Simpson, parents, Judian Dennis and Darren Simpson. Nathan Santiago Thompson, mother, Shanake Graham Williams. Josiah Matthew Martin, mother, Tamika Henry. Rishana Miriam Harris, parents, Dion Stevens and Richard Harris. Zaire Richard Gordon, parents, Shamika Wright and Richard Gordon. Kimani Michael Manning, parents, Kimon Burke and Michael Manning. Nova Glacia Diaz, mother, Nessa Gunter. And Usain O'Shane Johnson, parents, Kamisha Sims and Usain Johnson. God bless. 
And they brought young children to him that he should touch them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not. For of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and blessed them. May we stand together, please, for the prayer of dedication. Let's look to God in prayer. Heads are bowed and eyes are closed, including the parents, grandparents, godparents, and everybody. Gracious Lord, you are wonderful. You are worthy to be praised. Every sun, every moon, every star, mountains, hills, and valley, they praise you. Stormy winds fulfill your word. Cedars and all fruitful trees, they honor you. The winged creatures of the earth, they honor you. The things that vegetate upon earth, they honor you. Only mankind fail to honor you. But we thank you this morning that in spite of us being who we are, you continue to bless us. And here this morning before your presence and in our company are these precious gems that you have blessed these families with. The society, the nation, and the nations of the world. Because we do not know where you will lead them ultimately and what you'll have them to do. So now Lord we commit them into your hands for care for coverage, for protection. We commit them to you so that you will ward off every principality and power. The rulers of the darkness of this world. My God. Wow, the spiritual wickedness in high places. Every predator. Man or beast, demons or devils. We insulate them by the power of God and say, hell, you will not be able to touch them because blood is all over them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Build a fence around them. From the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. Ah, let pillar of cloud be with them each day. Pillar of fire every night. In the name of Jesus Christ. No sickness, no disease. No premature death. No accident. No spell from evil people. Evil neighbors, bad neighbors, bad-minded, covetous neighbors. No evil spell from them. Touch these children. But they shall be the apple of your eyes. Hidden under the shadow of your wings. Your hands will be kept on them. Every step of the way. Jesus. Jesus. You assign angel with flaming sword of fire to guard the tree of life in the garden of Eden. I ask you, Lord God, to assign same angels to watch over these children. Lord, this society is such an evil one that we have to ask you to watch over them in their homes. Jesus, watch over them in their homes. Watch over them in the communities. 
Watch over them in the streets at school. Watch over them in church. Wherever they go from now on. Let God be for them. So we bless them now from head to toes. We bless every brain cell, every nerve, every tissue, every blood vessel, every organ, internal organs, large and small intestines, every external member of the body. We bless these children. And we pray that the gates of hell shall never ever prevail against them. For those whom you bless, no man can curse. Glory. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. We pronounce all of heaven's blessings upon you. And set you forth to be victorious. For the glory of God. And that you'll be brought up in the fear and the admonition of the Lord Jesus Christ. And not one of you shall go astray from him. Father, we thank you for hearing us in Jesus' name. Somebody shout and praise God in this house. Glory. Now let's pray again. Father, bless the parents. Grandparents, godparents, siblings, everyone standing here and there, wherever they are. Grant, O oh, oh Lord, that as they contribute to these children's growth and development, training, the Spirit of God will be upon them. Supply all of the needs for homes and families. Let there be no lack or want in the name of Jesus Christ. And grant, O oh Lord, that these parents, grand and God, will commit their lives to you. For such as they have, they will give to the children. Bless homes and families, we pray. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout a big amen. Yeah. Bless me. Bless me. Oh, Lord. Say bless. Bless you, clap your hands and shout the high praise. Thank you, parents. Please return to your seats and before you leave, before you leave when the service is dismissed, please collect your dedication certificate to the office there. The Lord bless you. Enjoy the rest of God's day given to all of us. We got a member who dedicates it, baby. Which member will you remain for a couple of minutes so we give special recognition to you at this time? Praise God. Just wave your hands in the presence of the Lord. Just worship the Lord this morning. We are blessed of the Lord. Praise God. God continue to add to the church and also to Jamaica. Praise God. We have one member who is blessing a baby. Tanya Ramsey Jones. Your husband, Anthony Jones. We have beautiful little Amoya. Carrie K. Jones, 
Praise God. We have the grandmother, who is Elaine Hill Spencer. And grandfather is Garfield Spencer. We have the godmothers, who are Jacia Palmer and Antoinette Coleman. Or Colum, Colum, yes. We have the godfathers, who are Donovan Johnson and Kisroy Myrie. Praise God this morning. We are happy that one more has been added to the Power of Faith Ministries family. Praise God. Let us put our hands together and give the Lord thanks. And if the Lord tarries very soon, I may have her for melodies of praise. Praise God. Hallelujah. This morning, it affords me a privilege, a pleasure, and an honor to present to you your baby's dedication certificate. And congratulations. And to whom much is given, much is required. And God has blessed you with a very wonderful treasure. Please nurture her, care her, and grow her in the fear and in the admonition of the Lord. And we are here to assist in any way we possibly can. God bless you both. Have yourself a wonderful rest of the morning. Just wait. A gift from the church to you. God bless you. All right. God bless you again. Praise God. Some trust in chariots. Oh, some trust in horses. We will remember the name of my God. He is the warrior. Yes, he's strong and mighty. Yes, he is mighty. In him will I trust in God. Lift up your hands and praise God. Hallelujah. I have an announcement, a very special announcement to make. Heal the family. Heal the nation. The National Day of Prayer. The service comes up on January 4, 2023 at the National Arena in Kingston. I'm expecting to see you, you, you over there and you over there, all of you, as many as can make it, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Now, ways in which you can participate in this event, you can pray, you can fast, tell others about it, be present to participate in person, and give of your finances to offset some of the expenses. Now, I'm sure I'm expecting to see all of you after all of this. God bless you. God bless you. It is my time to take my leave. I welcome the Voices of Inspiration Choir, the ministry from the choir. But before I invite them to minister, let me just encourage you with verses 8 and 9 of the text. And he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it. And if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that, thou shalt cut it down. We have one more chance. Let's use it and get it right with God. 
my pleasure to have served you this morning. We welcome the Ministry of the Voices of Inspiration Choir. Immediately after they're through, we'll stand and make welcome God's servant, God's general, our presiding bishop, Bishop Dr. Delpha Davis. God bless you.
Gracious God, the request we're making right now is such a splendid request because nothing is by might or by power, it's always by your spirit. So, Spirit, please move over us, move upon us, move in us, move through us move because of us we are vessels in your hands i now commit to you lord this congregation i commit to you peoples all over the world i commit to you the saved and the unsaved i commit to you the backsliders the in-betweeners the atheists agnostics infidel all souls are yours in a very special way i ask you to minister to your body the church you tell us some weeks ago that we've done very well because we live where satan's seat is but we have been able by your grace to maintain our testimony and not lose our faith god this is another week a brand new week in a brand new month. Oh God, uncertainty looms around the place because evil is everywhere. Ambush lies the evil one. We ask you to help us to watch and pray. So I commit the saints to you now, Lord, and ask you to grant them safe passage throughout this week. Wherever they walk, wherever they ride, wherever they drive, where they sleep, where they work, where they worship, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your mighty Holy Spirit be with each and every one. And so that the enemy's plan will never ever prevail. But by you we shall run through all the troops and leap over all of the walls. Let no sickness befall anyone. Let no accident. Let no sudden death. Let no disaster man-made or natural. Oh God Almighty. I pray that you will give the pillar of cloud each day and the pillar of fire each night. I pray that you would ward off the enemy. Lord, we have no might against all the things that rise against us. We have but a sling and a stone. And the enemy is fully armored. But, oh God, we know that you are able to do miraculous and supernatural things. Use our sling, use our stone in the name of Jesus Christ. Use the five loaves and the two fishes. Use the seven loaves. Use an Elijah's rod, the Moses rod. Pilot your people through. Satan, the blood of Jesus Christ is against you. These are brand plucked out of the fire. You will try, but you're trying in vain. Because the word tells me the gates of hell shall not prevail. None that trust in you shall be ashamed. Cover your people under the blood. Everybody lift up both your hands over your head. Yeah, cover your people under the blood. Blood, 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 blood. The blood of Jesus Christ. Shield and guard and protect your people. In Jesus' name. Hey, my God Almighty, seal them in a ball of fire. 
seal them in a ball of fire from heaven the devil can do them no harm Woo, God Almighty in the name of Jesus oh mighty Holy Spirit yea though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death we will fear no evil for you are with us Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Roy, Jehovah Tisnu, Jehovah Helolam. You are with us, Lord. And we are more than conquerors. Thank you for blessing your people. Thank you for Minister Michael Smith. Thank you for Michael Smith. Thank you for Hashna Level. Thank you for Frankita Johnson. Thank you for Janet Small. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for I still the note man. Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for all of your servants. Do for us what no other power can do. Thank you for every person tuned in. In the name of Jesus. Facebook, Instagram, PFM, Family Television Channels, and all the other media portals. Thank you. And to receive the fullness of your blessing for this week. In Jesus' name. Amen. Why not worship God? Why not give Him praise? Why not celebrate him? Glory to God. My God. God bless you. Be seated, please. My God, we praise you. We worship you. We magnify it. What a joy it is for us to be together on this morning. Another Lord's Day, a beautiful day. Someone would say, what a beautiful day for the Lord to come again. What a beautiful day for him to take his children home. Oh, I long to see his face and to touch his nail-scarred hands. What a beautiful day for the Lord to come again. Uh, three minutes of housekeeping business before we get into the word of God. Welcoming all persons who joined us after the welcome was given. We're happy for you and you and all of you, wherever we find you, you know where to find us. We are not sure where some of you are right now. At home, on the job, on the street, in the field, wherever, in the hospitals, behind confined spaces, behind bars, wherever it is. God is with you as he is with us. So we thank God for all of you. Let's welcome nurse RN Una Thomas visiting from Canada. Where are you nurse? Uh, the, no the note tells me that. All right, God bless you. Give her a hand. Good to see you. Welcome to Jamaica land we love. Nurse Una Thomas, God bless you. And we will celebrate with those who are celebrating wedding anniversaries. We have one such heir, Minister Sandra Facey and her husband, Deacon Paul Facey, 20 years of togetherness in marriage. May the Lord bless you. 
Be mindful that this afternoon at 4.30 will be the 10,000 men and families gathering in Spanish Town. All those who are so disposed, go by and be blessed, come by and be blessed, right across from the LOJ shopping center. It's 4.30, so you've got to be there on time. We continue our Wednesdays fast and our Friday nights shut in with God's services and invite those of you who have not been participating, especially some of our leaders. I dare to see some of you in a shut in with God Friday night meeting. Yeah. Yeah. We do not want to bring this church down to the SMOs, Sunday mornings only. Leaders, follow me as I follow Christ. Since we started this shut in with God per meeting, I have not missed one. Committed myself, I don't think I did, no. And we have been, God has been moving among us. I need to see my 70 elders, armor bearers, who God must take my spirit and put on you. You can't distance yourself and expect to get the spirit. You have to be here and on her. Or you're not saying nothing. I would say a whole lot more, but we'll say them off camera. <laughs> But I thank God for the leaders. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Give them a big hand please. Then. Deserve it. Yeah. Ministers and elders. Sunday morning devotion is still being held. Up top there in the prayer room. At 6.30. This morning it was almost all elders. And then one lady minister walked in. So please remember, it's good to spend those few minutes together fellowshipping at that level. Amen. Amen. Well, those of you in Western Jamaica, you want to get one solid hour of ministry, preaching, singing, shouting. Well, as of this Sunday, three o'clock in the afternoon, we'll be on Fit FM, Fit FM 96.7, coming out of Duncan Trelawney and all across Western Jamaica and all across the world on the www. So, tune in everybody, one solid hour, Fit FM 96.7. Every Sunday, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m., power of faith will be in your homes, home and abroad. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Spreading the gospel. And of course, overseas persons, remember you can also tune into the other stations. Gospel JAFM, Friday evenings at 5.30 Love 101, Thursday mornings at 9.30, nationwide right now at 8.30 on Sunday mornings. Well, 8 o'clock really on nationwide radio. The world has become a global village. So you speak from here and you reach people everywhere. That's what, that's where we are. Amen? All right, almost finally. Do remember Heal the Family, Heal the Nation is a big, big one that comes up on the 4th of January. Bishop, you've been saying this over and over. Yeah, we got to say it over and over and over. Because some of you haven't gotten it as yet. And some of you who are at home, you're still cowed down in the, your COVID spirit. Shake off that and come to church. Oh, you're not saying nothing. So plan to be there. 
The moderator tells you how you can participate by praying, by fasting, by spreading the word, by be there in person to participate, and by giving of your finances. We must do what we can whilst we can. For night is coming when no man shall work. And if you want to contribute, you can get an envelope at the end of this service and make a contribution towards heal the family. God will bless you. Amen. Amen. Power of Faith Ministries International, Jamaica umbrella groups of churches jointly leading the task and we know God is going to bless us. Well, yesterday or Friday, some of our younger people had their graduation, received their graduate degree from the University of the West Indies. Give the Lord praise for them. Some with all kinds of honors. Hope of first class honors, second class honor, and all of the honors. I don't know if they're here this morning. Maybe they're out celebrating, sporting. But I know one happy mother is here. For sure. Minister Small, stand up please. Come on out here. We haven't seen in a little while. And your son, RJ, graduated yesterday also. And Sebastian graduated also. Yes, yeah, Sebastian Lawrence and... Whoever the others are. And John and Davy. God is blessing his people. Amen. And exhort to record or rickets. Some bright economists. And persons in international relations. We're happy. We're, good. We're happy to see you. Okay. Give me a hug. Can you do that? Bless you. We're happy to see you. Have you been praying for Minister Small? And are you praying for all your brothers and sisters? Happy to see you. Bless you, Minister Michael Smith. Bless you, Elder Level. Bless you, everybody. Well, glory to God. Amen. Somebody praise him one more time. Let's see if we can preach what we ought to preach this morning and believe God to move by his spirit. Maybe I should give Dr. P a hug to, you know. Stand up, Dr. P. Stand up, Dr. P. Stand up. Stand up, stand up for only. Well, glory. Everybody deserve a hug from me at this time. Hug yourself and say, I receive it, Bishop. Yeah, man, everybody, men and women, boys and girls, home and abroad. I hug you in the name of the Lord. And I bless you. Wonderful. Let us pray for the word. Father, bless the word that will be delivered by the Holy Spirit. I pray that it will be a word in time that will serve all its intended purposes. Grant that the Holy Spirit will take the word on his wings and land them where they ought to be landed. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the lost be saved, the backsliders be reclaimed, the saints of God be strengthened. Let heaven be glorified and earth be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. Do not forget that we have a great water baptism planned for the 12th of November where many young people, middle-aged people, older people, children, the 
permission of their parents will follow the Lord in water baptism. We look forward to that. 8 o'clock a.m. Forum Beach. God bless you. St. Luke chapter 13 was read earlier. As many as 17 verses. And those who followed carefully the reading must be wondering. Now which of these messages Bishop is going to preach? Because maybe three or four outstanding things are mentioned in that particular portion of scripture. So which of them is he going to preach? Well, let's see. The text is very clear, and I don't need to read it over again, but some people were talking to Jesus according to verse 1. I want to use a theme, therefore, in keeping with that conversation, and the theme is tell it to Jesus. But interestingly, the sub-theme is, is what I will address more than the parent theme. Parent theme, tell it to Jesus. The sub-theme is, what will you tell Jesus today? What will you tell Jesus today? If you have a chance, an opportunity... You have been invited by the Lord to tell him something today. I did not say some things. I did say something. What is that something that you would tell Jesus today? For me, it ought to be the most topical thing of your life. For me, it ought to be that which stands out as priority number one. Because we can have many priorities. The list of priorities can be very long. But on top of that list, there is that which is called number one. And everything else becomes two, three, four, five, six, and the list goes on. So what will you tell Jesus today? Think about it for 20 seconds. And do not confuse the issue. Because he doesn't want us to be double-minded at this particular time. What James says about double-minded persons, they are unstable in all their ways. And he or she who stands in double-mindedness cannot receive from God. So, what will you tell Jesus today? Now, don't you look on me like that, some of you. Come on. Listen to me with your heart and not necessarily with your ears only. Telling things to people. Is a universal phenomenon. It is an occurrence that happens with every tick of the clock. 60 seconds. Every tick of the clock, somebody tells somebody something. And this is something that is general to humankind wherever you are. It knows no boundary, no barriers. It knows no race, creed, culture, nor color. It has no ethnicity barrier. Wherever people are, things are being told.
when I get a little deeper, you'll understand. Things are being told every day by different ones to different ones. But certain people will hear certain things. While others will not hear those certain things. The question is, what will you tell Jesus today? That you will not tell me. As dear as I am as your pastor, you wouldn't tell me. What do you tell your church brethren? What do you tell the doctor? Go to the doctor. What do you tell him? The questions he asks or she asks, how do you respond? It is said that there are one person that you should not lie to, maybe three persons. But one that you should not lie to is your doctor. But you can lie to your lawyer because they're liars. Oh, so no. You can. Yeah. I'm sorry. Don't lie to your doctor. <laughs> I went to a certain place recently. And I was asked my age. Don't laugh at me, please. And honestly, my wife was there. I told them my age minus three years. Because I thought that's where I was. I can't believe I reached where I am. She looked at me and said, but hold on, what happened? I said, but hold oh, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. I am not saying nothing. So what do you tell your doctor, a lawyer? Do you tell the landlord, true or false, things are always being told? I mean, if you talk with somebody since morning, since the daybreak, you tell somebody something. Let me see your hand. All right, not many of you want to respond. We are early in the day, but I told a lot of people things since morning. Many people. Being told by all people, all times, are stories true and false. But the theme today invites us to tell it to Jesus. What you cannot tell me. When you tell it to Jesus, oh my God, it's secure, it is safe. Oh glory, somebody wave your hand and praise the King of heaven in this house. So St. Luke chapter 13, the verses that were read, we find three situations which were of different interest to different groups of people. Three situations. Different people are interested by different things. A cabinet maker walking down the road and he sees a flock of goat. It means nothing to him. But let a butcher pass by. The butcher is going to look with keen eyes. Are you not with me here? I don't mean nothing to the cabinet maker. Now he goes into the field and he sees some old tree log wood with all kinds of things all over them. And that is what interests him. He begins to look at those trees. Because when he sees them, he doesn't just see whole log in the forest. He sees beautiful pieces of furniture. Are oh, you not with me here? 
beautiful pieces of furniture he sees wrapped up in those logs in the forest. All he needs to do is to get them where they belong and do to them what needs to be done. Oh God, can I say that's the way some of us are in the sight of men, but in the sight of God we are different. We are seen differently. Can I say when some people look on some of us, all they see are losers, defeated people, going nowhere, non-entity. But when Jesus looks on us, we interest him from the crown of our head. Woo! Somebody shout a praise in this house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody may have no interest to look on you, to check you out and see something better than their eyes see. But when the master looks on you, God Almighty, oh, I feel the Holy Ghost on me. Somebody lift your hand and say, look on me, Jesus. Hallelujah. He looked on a Gideon and said, oh, you're a mighty man of valor. Gideon said, did you see that in me? He said, yes. You're sitting at the threshing floor. Threshing weed, hiding from the Midians, shaking and cowering in fear, but you're a mighty man of valor. God Almighty, somebody lift your right hand and shake it and say, That's who I am. Under God, that's who I am. Shake it like you mean it and say, Under God, that's who I am. I'm not just what you see greater is in me Shaka Masandara Woo! Glory to God Somebody shout something this house and let's preach the gospel and shake up hell and let the devil know that hey you're not just some little nobody's walking around he has interest in you He has interest in you. My God. Jesus. So, three different situations that interest different group of people. The first one, some people began to tell Jesus about some other people's dilemma. Oh, you're not with me. Here are they begin to tell Jesus what befell some Galileans. And maybe they were happy for that. Because some people don't want to see some other people rise. They want to see you fall. So when you fall, it's holiday for them. When you fall, it's celebration for them. When you fall, it's rejoicing for them. Can I preach to anybody here? And they thought Jesus would have sanctioned the wickedness in their hearts. Jesus, you don't see what happened to the Galileans. Pilate killed off all of them, mingled their blood with their sacrifice. That's what they, that's all they could see. And that's all they were prepared to say. Can I preach to anybody over this side? Mm, Jesus. What do you tell Jesus about your brothers and sisters? Even when they fall. What do you tell Jesus about them? Even when they fail before your very eyes. By your judgment, by your standard, they have failed. Now what do you tell Jesus about them? Some people never have a good story to tell about some of us. Oh, you're not saying nothing. 99.5 good, 5% bad are a mistake. 
And they use their red ink and they wipe off your 95, 99.5. And they stand out with the one mistake you have made. One mistake. So here they come. Jesus. You don't see what happened. They were present there. That's some that told you told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Jesus answering said unto them, hold on. Take it easy. Your pointing finger destroying those people who already been destroyed. You think they're worse than anybody else? You think they're worse than you? Can I preach a truth in this house? Hallelujah! What do you tell him about your neighbor? Some people are just looking for your faults. For your failures. To put it on the public media. And know that we have social media. Some people don't care what they put on social media. They put just about everything they feel like putting on social media. But Jesus' response sent a message to all of us who think that we are better than others. Are oh, you not with me? I love Jesus' response. So what do you think? You think they were worse sinners than anybody else? You think they were worse sinners? Except you. You criticizing saint. You backbiting saint. You walk around to kill people. Hear me except you repent. You shall all likewise perish. Don't tell me about the brother's faults and failure. Except you're going to tell me let us pray for him. Don't tell me about the sister's fault and failure. Except you're going to say let's pray for her. Do not dig ditches. Build bridges. Somebody shout over here. I said do not dig ditches. Build bridges to help somebody to cross. The strong must bear the infirmity of the weak. And not to consider yourself only. All of us self-righteous people. We have a whole lot of self-righteous people in churches these days. Are you not saying nothing? They're digging out people's eyes to get out a little mutt. They dig off your eyelash. They dig off the broad. Trying to find a little moth to take out of your eyes. Are you not saying nothing? And how easy it is for them to pull out the beam that is in their own eyes. But they refuse from pulling out their beam and digging you down to take out a little moth. Somebody wave your hand and say, give me a break. Fun of some hypocrite. Say, give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. Please be patient with me. God is not true. With me here, praise him over here. Jesus. Jesus. Your neighbor's children get in trouble with the law and you rejoice. The whole saying is the same knife that stick sheep same knife same knife somebody's marriage not doing too well and you know about it and you rejoice and you're spreading all of the scandal over the place be careful somebody said be careful whosoever diggeth a ditch shall fall in it somebody better praise him in this house 
What will you tell Jesus about your neighbors? You got so much to tell him about yourself. Have mercy upon me, O oh Lord. According to the multitude of your loving kindness and your tender mercies, blot out my transgression. Purge with his up and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. David knew he had a lot of things to tell Jesus about himself. Give him praise. So I love Jesus' response. I did say it sends a message to all of us who think that we are better than others. Jesus answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things? No. No. I tell you nay, but except you repent. Boy, Jesus don't pull any punches, you know. He gives it straight up. Are oh, you not saying nothing down there? All right, take your time. That is the approach we ought to take. When someone comes to you with somebody else's name, to stab them with knife back and front, in and out. That's the approach we ought to take. Say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Today for her, it could be tomorrow for you. Today for him, could be tomorrow for you. Let us try and lift up the person. Somebody praise him, let me move on. still laying foundation you know because it's the third part of the text I'm going to preach really but I want you to get this in the second situation Jesus told a pathetic story he spoke to the vine dresser concerning his vineyard are you still with me there Verse 6, he spake also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. And he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. Jesus was talking about that. Immediately, the vine dresser then said he unto the dresser of the vineyard. Okay, Jesus continued. Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this tree and find none. Cut it down. Why cumberest it the ground? Cut it down. Jesus was presenting that case. But you see, where God is concerned, there is always space and place for mediation. Mediation. Deaconess Bernice Coburn, I spoke with you twice yesterday on telephone, didn't I? And you get the message right now. There's always space for mediation. Reconsider. Rethink. So the vine dresser said, oh my God. Master, you are well spoken. You are within your right to do so. But I am, on the, I am the underground man. I am the man that plow and watch and manure and all of them thing and prune. Please will you just give me one more chance with this tree. Oh, you're not with me here. Will you just give me one more chance with this tree? Lift your hand and say, one more chance, Jesus. Oh, you may not need it, but many of us need it. Say, one more chance. Say, one more chance. Shako Sanda. 
Woo! If the Holy Ghost had not mediated for some of us, where would we be today? Talk to me, somebody. If Jesus, who sits at the right hand of God, was not making intercession on a daily basis, when we slip, when we slide, when we fall, and Satan comes and says, See there. What you gonna do about it? See there. Jesus said, Remember, there's a place called Calvary. Remember, I took nails in my hands, crowned a thorn on my head. Remember, I took the spear in my side. Do you not remember I drank the vinegar to the dregs? Do you not remember John 19 and verse 30 when I cried out in agony? It is. God, somebody should praise him now, dear, for that. So Jesus said, devil back off of this back out of this look on the altar the blood sprinkle the altar oh glory to God so the vine dresser say you are in your right to do what you tell me to do but please somebody say please Lord mm -hmm. verse 8 and he answering said unto him Lord, let it alone this year also till I dig about it and dung it. Let me work with it one more for another year. Boy, I tell you, I think the Holy Spirit is the most patient. The Holy Spirit is the most long-suffering. Are you not saying nothing? Look how long he has been bearing with us. Time after time, he has waited before. And now he's still waiting again to see if you're willing to open your hearts. Oh, how he wants to come in. Time after time. Look at your age on the calendar. Some of us stage gone off calendar long time. Long time. Long time. And until now you're not born again. Until now you're not fully committed to Jesus. But every day you make a promise. Especially when new year comes around. You make your resolution. God if you help me. Especially when sickness begins to rock the body. God, if you heal me. Financial difficulty. Lord, if you help me out of this. Marital distress. Lord, if you heal my family. I serve you. He has been faithful. Have you been faithful? One more here. Somebody say one more season. <laughs> Come on, voices of inspiration. One more season. You know, let, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. We do not know when some people's season really and truly ends. We don't know. Bishop, come on. Yeah. Because we can be there doing our thing as usual still singing on the choir still playing the music still wearing the white dress as choir mothers still preaching behind pulpit still bear all our names and titles and still doing the duties of the church and God know where the Holy Spirit is concerned some people season done long time you're not following my message done long time but we know how to do what we do so we keep doing what we've been doing over the years God Almighty and 
God says such a person is comparable to a sounding brass tinkling symbol are you still in your season somebody lift up your hand and say something are you still in your season do you still find your family altar at the bedside do you still fast when the church has not called for fasting do you still intercede you can know when you are still in your season when your season is gone anything goes business as usual lift your hand and say Lord keep me in my season come on say it like you mean it Woo! it's not a pretty thing to be doing our thing outside of doing God's thing let's run on here one more verse 9 Luke 13 and if it bear fruit well and if not intercession is over travail is over you know there's such a thing as the Holy Spirit departing from people oh you're not saying nothing Holy Spirit depart from people. God of heaven. One more season. And if it fails to produce, I won't even attempt to ask for any more probation. We'll take it down. Somebody say something there. Mm -mm. Jesus. What do you tell Jesus today? Divine dressers telling to Jesus sparks a bright ray of hope to every non performing, non producing steward in the kingdom of God. I say that again. Divine dresser's response to the master is sparks a bright ray of hope. You mean I got one more here to work on it? You mean I'm given one more chance? Not everybody get a second chance. Not everybody get a second chance. And God, you're giving me one more chance. Hope spring alive in the breast. Now I'm going to get down to serious business. I'm going to work out my salvation with fear and trembling before God. I'm going to lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily beset me. And I'm going to run this race with patience, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith. Lift your hand and say, I got one more chance. I got one more season. I got one more here to get it right. Woo! Somebody shout a praise to the Almighty God down there. You got one more here to make it right. One more season. I don't know what the year means. For the day with him is a thousand years. And a thousand years this is one day. I don't know. But be careful. Hallelujah. Give him praise. All right. Now to the real message. Oh, you're not serious, Bishop, yeah? Now to the real message. <laughs> real message. Tell it to Jesus. What will you tell Jesus today? I said you can't come to him with a complicated list and 
dozens of priorities. No, you can't. That one thing. The third situation. The telling was completely different. According to verse 10 through 17. Completely different. It was the all-seeing eyes of the loving Savior. The caring Savior. The compassionate Savior. The healer and the deliverer. The way maker. The bridge over every troubled water. It was his all encompassing highs that pierced a woman in a church service sitting there oh woman he's come for you today you don't have to tell him nothing god i feel more preach it here now woman 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 i say to you you don't have to tell him anything he knows where you are he knows your struggles he knows your sorrows he knows your pain he knows your distress he knows everything if you ever open your mouth and try to tell him anything you have too many things to tell him you'd be confusing yourself shut up your mouth hey Keep your mouth shut. His eyes are on the sparrows. Woman is watching you. You better let me preach to that woman who's been in the temple, who's been in the synagogue for 18 years and nobody paid her any mind. Shakunda Masata. Somebody wave your hand down here. Wave your hand and praise God down here. Woman, 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 don't say nothing. Shako Sanda. Yeah, yeah, mama. Yeah, yeah. The all seeing eyes of Jesus. He pierced Sunday morning live in power of faith. And you see hundreds of people. Some under mask, some no hand on a mask. He sees hundreds of people in a beautiful miracle cathedral worshiping him. But in the midst of the hundreds of people, he's all seeing, all piercing, discerning eyes. Are you not with me? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. He penetrated the audience. He saw this woman. Exhort it's here, a young man. You don't have to worry about that. But he saw this woman. Is she a single mother? Is she a discarded wife? Is she an Hagar woman? What is your status? I don't know your status, but I know your condition. Somebody praise him here. The men don't want to praise him. Let the women praise him. Let the women praise him. Man no one praise him. Let woman praise him. Woman sorrow more than man sorrow. Woman's trouble more than man's trouble. Woman's distress are more than man's distress. Let the woman praise. Shakosandia. Woo! God Almighty. God Almighty. Yes! Woo! <laughs> Don't tell him nothing. Don't try to tell him nothing. It's his time to talk. It's his time to tell you something that you need to hear. 
Come on, woman. Shako Sandama. He walked in the temple. Oh God Almighty, somebody lift your hand and praise him here. Because I feel the Holy Ghost on me. I feel the Holy Ghost on me here. Hallelujah. A woman is about to give birth to her ministry. A woman is about to give birth to a deliverance. He was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath and behold there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed down together and could in no wise lift up herself. How many years in power of faith, miracle cathedral? How many years? But you're still bound down. You're still in distress. You're still going through your proverbial wilderness. Your back is still against the proverbial wall. You are still between the rock and the hard place. Still between the devil and the deep blue sea. He walked in Miracle Cathedral and he see all of the people and voices of inspiration. He said, my God, look on them. All of the people and voices of triumph. All of the people in this house. But it's all seeing eyes. I want any woman that know that God sent this word for you. You think I got it easy? Any woman that know that God sent this word for you today. That you put aside what anybody going to say. You get ready to walk down here. And let this man of God pray for you. Pray over you. Any woman. I don't mean all of the women them. I mean any woman with that particular 18 years and she's when Jesus saw her he called her that's why I'm calling you you don't know that I'm on the, on the divine function that's why I'm calling you you gotta sit down which part you're there that's why I call you forth he called her he didn't just call her name as a woman the text minister Edward say he called her unto him come to me woman he called her unto him and said get ready get ready Shandakoma Setanaya I feel the Holy Ghost upon a woman Shandama Kosetere Ruba Sata mighty God mighty God fire for a woman's problem fire for a woman's distress fire for a woman's need fire 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 Shakanda Sotea hey! he called her to him I'm glad you come woman I'm glad you raise up to your seat and come Shanda Kosetema I feel the Holy Ghost on me here. He called her to him. And she didn't have to say a word. But just one word from Jesus. One word. One word. One word is all I need. 
Jesus did because I'm under divine order Shonda Baba Kasata but I lay hands on a few of you take it for the others take it for the others take it for the others take it for yourself and take it for the others take it for yourself and take it for the others for yourself take it for the others heal it shanda baba 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 echo shamama shanda baba baba heal it and he said woman 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 he said woman 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 I don't know your name he said woman he said woman he said, woman. Shonda Kosata. Yeah. That's what he said. Woman. 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 Shonda Laba. Hey! Woman, you don't have to say nothing. I know you need Jesus. Say. Woman, thou hearts, thou hearts, thou hearts, thou heart. Loose. Worship him, come on. Hey! You woman don't have to tell Jesus nothing. No open your mouth. Don't say a word. Don't say a word. Don't say a word, woman. Don't tell him nothing. He knows everything. Nothing, 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 nothing. Yeah. It 
was Jesus who discerned that she was there for 18 years. Nobody told him. And he had a word for her. That woman needed to hear that word. Hear the word and live. Hear the word and be delivered. Don't tell him nothing. Are you weary? Are you heavy hearted? Tell it to Jesus. Are you grieving over joys departed? Tell it to Jesus. Do the tears flow down your cheeks unbidden? Tell it to Jesus. Have you sins that no man's eyes are hidden? Tell it to Jesus. Do you fear the gathering clouds of sorrows? Tell it to Jesus. We sung it earlier, didn't we? Are you anxious? What shall be tomorrow? Tell it to Jesus. Are you troubled with the thoughts of dying? Tell it to Jesus. You can tell Jesus everything. But sometimes you don't need to tell him nothing. You understand? Yeah. For Jesus knows.
ahead, go ahead. Go ahead and do what you need to do now. Go ahead and say what you need to say now. Go ahead and do what you need to do now. Go ahead and say what you need to say. Shut up. My God Almighty. Jesus. Rabba Sheko Rabba Baha. Eya. Rondi Okoromo Seta. My God. Somebody hear his voice. Echo Shaha. Rabba Kondi Ribio. Shonda Rabba Baba Baba. Echo Shekotama. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Somebody! <laughs> Woo! God Almighty! Somebody! Bless her, bless her, bless her, bless her. Jesus! 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 I said Jesus! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God.
for the move of your Holy Spirit. I thank you for every woman. And I thank you for that woman. That woman. Lots of women are here. But you know that woman. God, I would not even say those women. Because this is being personal and individual. I thank you for that woman whom you have so identified and whom you have called unto you and declared in her life woman thou art loose from that infirmities of 18 years and immediately Shako Samandara woo, she was straightened up glorified you hypocrites began to talk and say all kind of things but that meant nothing to the woman it meant nothing to you you confounded all of them and I thank you today that you have ministered in a very own special way in the name of Jesus Christ do it for one do it for all do it for everyone near and far. Do it for everyone home and abroad. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen. Clap your hands and give him praise and go back to your seat. Give them a song to go back to their seat. Lord, I will, I will.
my God. Oh, Jesus. to wind it down but if you don't lay it down as yet nobody's fault but yours please be seated let's prepare for the closing exercises of this Sunday morning live Jesus God of heaven <laughs> The 
ushers are prepared. They have their tithes, they have their offerings. And they are ready to lead us in, lead us in giving worship. Father, bless all of us together beyond measures. We now offer to you out of your own tithes and offering and all the gifts so designated. We bless gifts and we bless givers. And we thank you for multiplying the seed sown and for continue to provide bread for the heater and seed for the sower. Everything and everyone is blessed in Jesus' name. Ushers, Lord have mercy. I will lay my burden down. Hold on, a man, what I'm to you. Cool down the thing now. Out of heaven. Lord Jesus. Whoa! I have laid my burden down. Prepare to worship in giving. Announcer, please join me here. We'll be through in 15 minutes. We're right in good time. God is good. Amen. Thank you. The ushers have envelopes for Heal the Family. Those who need to get one, do so. God will bless you as you give to God's work. The caps are available. Get yours, please. Red and white, or red or white. Get yours. I'm going to call upon you sometime soon, shortly, for us to take the nation and be identified accordingly. So get your cap, make the little contribution, and take it. Come from distant world. And U.S. dollars these days very, very high in value. They were not manufactured in Jamaica. They were manufactured overseas. So get yours. The price will not be reduced. Or the asking. The asking will not be reduced. It's not a price. We don't sell anything here. Freely give, freely receive. So take one. Or take two. Go ahead, my dear. Welcome to the pages of the Power of Faith Ministries Diary. Welcome to the pages of the Power of Faith Ministries Diary for week beginning Sunday, November 6th. Sister Celia Dunkley and Deacon Carlton Thomas, who are overseas, are back home and worshiping with us. Thank you. Greetings came to our bishop. Minister Davis and the Power Faith family from the following brethren overseas. Missionary Elsa Dias, Missionary Juliet Burrell, and special greetings to the, Power, to the Echoes of Faith Choir and Voices of Triumph. Let us keep our overseas brethren in our prayers. Special notices, rem members who are on the Sagicor insurance, insurance scheme are being reminded to make their payments before December 15th at the administrative office Monday to Friday between the hours of 8.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Please be reminded that the canteen is open to serve you this and every Sunday. Baptismal instruction classes will be held this and every Sunday after the morning service and at 5.30 p.m. Classes are also held on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Too or much talking, please. You're not listening to the announcement. Please listen. Please. Go ahead, my dear. Our next baptism will be on Saturday, November 12th, beginning at 8 a.m. at the Forum Beach. The Caribbean Institute for Health Research, UWI, are seeking volunteers for the LIFE project, which will be studying and investigating the risk factors of cardiovascular disease, such as high blood pressure, stroke, 
heart attack, diabetes, and cancer in Jamaica. The study will be looking on how social and environmental factors, family history, and lifestyle may affect the risk of these chronic health conditions and help us prevent and detect and treat these diseases better. Persons who are interested for this study may speak to Missionary Michelle Dixon Samuel at the announcer's office immediately after service. In our meetings after service, all widows and widowers are invited to an urgent meeting with the elders council by the multipurpose hall. We continue the process of gathering photos for the Power of Faith Ministries International 40th Anniversary Magazine. All members of the various departments, council, singing groups are invited to meet the team by the Royal Oasis. All members who started out with the ministry from the Brown Tent are invited out next week Sunday for a photo, photo session for the 40th magazine anniversary. All exhorters, please meet by the music stand immediately after service. Upcoming events, all night prayer meetings will continue on the following Friday, November 25th and December 16th. We will be observing three days of fasting and prayer on November 16th, 17th and 18th. The Power of Faith Ministries Knightsville Assembly, Yales and Thomas will be celebrating their seventh annual convention commencing on November 13th through Wednesday, November 16th. The Power of Faith Ministries Bagwalk Assembly will be hosting their annual dinner and concerts on December 2nd on the church grounds. Tickets are available at a cost of $1,500. Lunch will be served at 11 a.m. The Power of Faith Ministries, in partnership with the Heart Trust NSA, will be offering classes in the following subject areas, CSEC, Maths, English, Human and Social Biology, Accounts, and Principle of Business, City and Guilds, Maths, Stage 1 to 3, English Language, Stages 1 to 3. Short courses are offered in customer service representative and customer service supervisory. Teachers are needed for all, those, for all the above subject areas and diagnostic tests will be done at a later date. Classes will be on Monday to Thursday between the hours of 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Please meet missionary Sonia Williamson for registration in the Music Institute. Registration forms are available today and also at the church office, Monday to Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. A heart representative will be on location tomorrow, 9 a.m. to continue the registration process. Persons who have already taken registration forms are at or being asked to return them this morning if you have them with you or the church administrative office Monday to Friday between 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Or six and death notices. The following persons are sick and at home or in the hospital. The mother of Sister Joy Blake Palmer is in the Spalding Hospital. Sister Edith Jarrett Jackson is sick and at home. The following persons have passed away and funeral arrangements are pending. Sister Rosina Lewis, Sister Veronica Smith, the auntie of Minister Leon Edwards, Sister Marjorie Graham, the stepfather of Sister Raphine Henry. Scheduled funeral services. The funeral for the husband of Sister Suzette Davis McNaughton will be held on Thursday, November 10th, right here at the Power of Faith Ministries the viewing will be at 9 a.m. Funeral service commence at 10. Interment will be at Dovecott. The funeral service for the aunt of Sister Rhoda Fuller, otherwise called Sister Charlotte, will be held on Saturday, November 12th at 11 a.m. at the Church of God of Prophecy, Royal Hill, Long Bay, Portland. Interment will follow in the Royal Hill, Portland, Transportation will be provided at a cost of $1,000.
The funeral service for the father of missionary Joy Brown will be held on Saturday, November 12 at 10 a.m. at Freetown Gospel Hall, Manchester. The funeral service for the deacon, sorry, the funeral service for the father of deacon Neville Parish will be held on Sunday, November 13th at the Washington Garden Seven Day Adventist Church, 14 Headley Avenue, beginning at 10 a.m. Interment will be at the Hawkers Hall Cemetery in St. Catherine. Photos of the deceased members are posted on the notice, notice board for viewing, or Bishop his wife and the members of the Power Fair family share with those who are ill or have lost a loved one. May you be strengthened at this time. The PFM Care will be hosting care center, sorry, will be hosting clinics on the following days. The general practitioner will be in office on Saturday, November 12th at 10 a.m. The gynecologist on Saturday, November 19th at 9 a.m. Amen. Thank you so very much. Minister Davis, do your thing, please. Give her a hand, please. Wonderful. Glory to God. We honor the Lord again this morning. Some very important announcements. First of all, I received greetings, and I was asked to convey the same to the General Assembly here at headquarters. Greetings from Minister Kerryon Beckford Thomas and family. They are doing well and crave our prayers. Also from Missionary Winsome Taff, Missionary Carmen Roach, Missionary Ivan Shaw, Missionary Juliet McPherson out of Canada, Missionary Gloria Murray, Sister Anne Marie Edwards, Sister Vernice Burrell. Deacon Duane and Evangelist Andrea and their little daughter, Sister Deidre Fuller out of Florida. Sister Stacy Fishley, God bless you. Also from Evangelist Gavin and his wife, Sister Kerry and Telly and Gianna Reed out of Cayman Islands. Deaconess Winsome Green Sappleton, they all asked me to convey their greetings. And we continue to remember them in our prayers. Also, just to remind us that the melodies of praise, teens and kiddies, long-awaited moment is drawing very near. We are looking forward to a soul-stirring, soul-warming experience. This will be on Sunday, the 18th of December, 2022. At 6 p.m. sharp, we have a new approach, and there are some very outstanding pieces that I know they are going to get you onto your feet, and they are going to bring the best out of you, the audience. So we are asking you all to make all the necessary arrangements to be here. At this time, I'm going to be asking the studio if you are ready for me to proceed with the advertisement that you have put together also we are still recruiting ushers if you are here especially male ushers if you are here this morning you are a member of the church and you are serving the Lord in spirit and in truth and you have a heart for people you love people people are your ultimate you know how to speak to them you know how to greet them you can speak with me immediately after we are through. We're going to have one more session with all the newly appointed ushers. And this is in preparation for the end of the year. And also towards Heal the Family, Heal the Nation at the National Arena where we're going to be needing a lot of resource persons. So if you're here and you're a member, whether you're a brother or a sister, we are here recruiting some new ushers. So if you are interested and you'd like to be a part of the usher body, we ask you to speak with me immediately after the service. Are you ready for me, control room? Stop. Look. Listen. It is coming. It's almost here. Get prepared. 
Nerd. It's the one-of-a-kind presentation that everyone looks forward to in December. Tell me some more. It's the Melodies of Praise annual production. When? Sunday, December 18, 2022 at 6 p.m. sharp. Under the theme, Hallelujah, I am being restored. Where? The Power of Faith Ministries International Headquarters, Lot 13, Portmore Town Center, Portmore St. Catherine. This sounds exciting. Oh, yes, it will be. It promises to be a feet stomping, soul stirring, Holy Ghost filled event. One that you cannot afford to miss. Come all! It is a family affair! Granny, mommy, daddy, brother, sister, uncle, auntie, niece, nephew, neighbors, friends, well wishers, saved and unsaved, even enemies, if any, all are invited! No disappointment and no charge to enter. It's free. Just bring an offering. That's the Melodies of Praise production. Sunday, December 18, 2022 at 6 p.m. Right here at the Power of Faith Ministries International Headquarters. See you there. All right, that's just a little taste, bud. Praise God, and so we look forward to having you all. All right, we are getting ready to close this morning's worship service. Were you richly blessed of the Lord? Yes. If you were not touched, something is wrong. And also to the parents, parents, guardians, mom and dads of the children, teens and kiddies, we are now inside the church on Tuesdays. So every Tuesday as of last week, we're going to be inside the church giving them their proper formation and familiarizing them with what they are going to be doing. So this Tuesday also at 5 p.m., teens and kiddies, we meet with them inside the church. And on Saturdays, we meet with them as, a huge, as usual. Time is running very, very fast, and we know we are almost there. And the samples of the color that the boys would have brought home, all right? It's not for you to buy material and make shirt. We just send you a shade of the color that the girls are going to be wearing. So you can go to the store to buy the shirt and match it to the closest color that you can get to the sample that was given. All right? So if you want, as I say... Not to make a shirt, but you go to the store and buy a shirt. So the color that you get from that little sample is just to match with what you are going to purchase. All right. So remember now the boys, the kiddies boys, they are wearing black pants. Praise God with rose pink shirt. And the teens boys, they are wearing black pants with yellow shirt. We took care of the lady, the young, the young, the girls uniform. All right. So they have it to be made. All right, so that's it from me, I think. Yes, it is. Amen. Let's stand together. Amen. Let, let us stand, please. What a wonderful day. Please remember, tell your friends they can get one solid hour and fit FM 96.7 or 97.6 rather. I'm in order of Duncan Strilani from Power of Faith every Sunday afternoon, 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. One solid hour. I've been listening to that station. It's an online for us here. Those in the western part of Jamaica, it's a radio dial 97.6. What do we say now?
Grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, full fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Rest, remain, and abide with us all now and forevermore. Everybody say, tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. There you have it, dear friends. It has been a grand service. God has moved mightily. We were tremendously blessed by the message, and I hope it's the same for you. We, the feast was prepared and it was served. I just trust and pray that you have received of your serving. Before we go, here are a few announcements and reminders. Our phone line, 876-988-7638, is open and it's available for you to call in your prayer request anytime during the services, anytime. You may also talk with us on our Facebook chat and also in the YouTube chat. And the big one, mark your calendars, flip your pages and mark on your page. The big one, January 4, 2023, first Wednesday. It's the Heal the Family, Heal the Nation. It will be held at the National Arena and it's an all day event, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. And it's a day of prayer, national day of prayer, where we'll invite the Lord in our nation and ask that he continue to bless us. In spite of all that's happening with us, we need prayer at this time. And so we ask that you continue to pray for our nation as we invite you to be a part of us. However, there are five ways, five specific ways that you can participate in this event. Pray. As I've just said, pray 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 fast fasting and prayer goes hand in hand tell others about it spread the word and be present to participate in person be there on that day we look forward to you and finally give off your finances to offset some of the expenses we look forward to your usual wonderful support remember to like subscribe and share the youtube and the facebook links once again on behalf of our pastors, Bishop Dr. Delford D. Davis and Minister Dr. Petrova Davis and the entire Power of Faith family, we thank you for watching and participating in this service until we see you again in the will of the Lord. I'm Minister Nicolene Stevenson. May the peace of God be with you. God bless.